In this video, we're gonna talk about spicing up your video with transitions. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Films. So when you're in post-production, there is literally a thousand things that you can do to spice up your video and to make it more interesting. Recently, I just did a demo video shoot with my new camera, the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro, and I wanted to test out this camera and put together a nice little demo reel with my good friend, Brittany. And when I was editing this video, I really wanted a cool way to splice all these shots together. And that's where I turned to my favorite transitions pack, which is the Handy Seamless Transition Pack from VideoHive. It has over 1,500 transitions inside this pack that you can just drag and drop into any After Effects composition. It has its own user interface and is easy to work with. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video that I was able to put together with this transition pack. And as you can see, the transitions from this pack are really nice and there's so many to choose from to the point where you really just cannot pick the best transition because there's plenty of great transitions in this pack. So essentially what you can do is edit your video, bring it over to After Effects via dynamic link if you're using Premiere Pro. And within a few minutes, you can take your video to the next level by applying these high-end transitions. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply these transitions and how this user interface works with the Handy Seamless Transitions Pack. And of course, you can check our links in the video description to learn more about the Handy Seamless Transition Pack at any time during this video. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects, and this is what a timeline would look like with all these transitions applied. All these layers are in orange are our transitions, and you see there's just one layer. Over here in the top, we have our Motion Bro extension, which holds the Handy Seamless Transitions Pack. And what's cool about this, you have the nicely organized transitions inside of these folders, and you can hover over each folder, get an idea what type of transitions you're gonna handle. And if you're unsure about a category, you can hover over the folder and see what type of transitions they have in them. If you wanna explore one even further, you can open up that transitions pack, you can hover over the plenty of transitions they have in here, and they specifically label them and tell you the direction uh, of each transition. So you can see here, we can preview the uh, spin transition here for perspective, disc 90. Uh, we can look at some other ones over here. We have glitch transitions. You can see there's a handful of them. We even got flares and you know distortion zooms as well. So, I mean, this is just a few of the transitions out of the 1500 that you have to work with. So how easy are applying transitions? Well, it's very easy. All you have to do is drag your playhead to the cut of two clips right here. So we have two clips. One clip ends right here and the second clip begins right at this moment in time. So we'll move our playhead right to that cut and then we can search for a transition that we like. So perhaps I like this camera flight transition. And we can also come here to the top and set the duration of each transition. So we can see we, if we want it really fast, we can adjust that. If we want it a little bit slower, we can change that speed. So we can select, say, a certain speed here. So it'll do like maybe stretch 70. And we can preview our transitions. I like this one. I'm going to click on it. And then it's automatically going to apply it between that cut. And if we look right here where there is a marker, that is the exact place where the cut should take place. And it'll literally tell you where the transition needs to go. And just within a couple of minutes, we've applied this one transition to our clips here, and it looks really nice. And as you see, we can go through all of our other clips and apply these transitions just within a matter of minutes. And as you can see with all these transitions that I've applied, it's very easy just to drag and drop these. And as we said, there's 1500 transitions within this pack that's nicely organized in its own UI inside of After Effects. And if you want to see these transitions more in depth, you go ahead and check our links in the video description. Uh, the Handy Seamless Transition Pack page actually shows all 1500 transitions, so, so you should have a really good idea what exactly is inside this pack. So that's how the Handy Seamless Transition Pack works. It's been amazing to work with this pack. I've been using it for a few months now and just being able to take my videos to the next level with these amazing transitions has been awesome. So if you are interested in upgrading your transition library, go ahead and check our links in the video description. It'll take you right to the Handy Seamless Transitions Pack where you can see all 1500 transitions and learn more in depth of how this transition pack works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this After Effects review. If you did enjoy our video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. 
You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.